good evening everyone so for today's video i am going to be doing some sort of make ahead freezer breakfast and snacks you can keep these in the freezer or the fridge if you want to use them just for the week i'm going to try and batch cook quite a lot so that we have stuff on hand for the summer holidays because i feel like the days are going to be a bit busier now that things are opening we might be out of the house a bit more and need something quick to grab to take on picnics or to grab when we get home from a busy day out so yeah i'm just going to show you what i'm making i'll try and leave all the recipes linked down below i'm not going to sort of show you the step-by-step -step recipes i'm just going to sort of show you what i'm making Okay, so the first thing I'm making is I've got this like mini muffin tin. I'm going to make some sausage and egg little muffin bites. So it's basically just onion and sausage meat. You brown it off, then you add it to some eggs and some milk and some cheese. Mix it all together to make like a scrambled egg sort of mix with the sausage meat in it. Then pop it into... The mini muffins i'm going to grease these with a spray olive oil then pop them in the oven for 10 minutes or so until they're brown and cooked through and then you'll have little mini egg bites that you can pop in the freezer you can pull out for lunches breakfast dinners all kind of things even snacks to be honest um so yeah my girls love eggs and sausage so this is a good one i just wish i had two pans so i could actually double up but yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so while my sausage meat and onions are browning behind me, I've got my list here. This is everything I'm hoping to make. I've got some leftover finger rolls and I've seen a really good hack of doing French toast sticks with them. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to cut up the bread into slices and then I'm going to make my eggy mix in this bowl. Start dipping them and then fry them and then pop them to the side to cool down. Right, so the French toast sticks are done. I need to dig out some more pots, but we've got two pots of them. And then my sausage meat and onion has browned, so I'm just gonna add the eggs, milk and cheese to this, and then I'm going to start spooning it into my little muffin tin and put the oven on to warm up. Okay, so now we're just making some wholemeal blueberry muffins or I'm using this wholemeal rye flour that I've got just to try and use it up. And we've got frozen blueberries. So it's a Gordon Ramsay recipe, I'll link it down below, but we're just gonna make those to pop in the freezer again for breakfasts or snacks. Our mini egg muffins are out of the oven and they look so yummy. Oh, that one got a bit of eggshell in it, Ari. <laughs> so they're just cooling down. And now we're just gonna make some yogurt and granola bites. So really easy, just using the same mini muffin tin. I just gave it a quick wipe out. So we're gonna put yogurt in the bottom and then just sprinkle them with granola and freeze them. Then you can obviously take them out of the pan chuck them in a pot or a bowl and they're just a bit easier for the kids to eat particularly Roma. We've got two strawberry Greek yogurts and then we're just mixing it with a tub of normal Greek yogurt just to fill it out a little bit more because we only had two strawberry ones left. So we'll just give that a good mix and then start spooning it in. Right. 
Right, so our muffins are done. Got one batch of muffins. I'm just working on the energy balls now. This is the last thing we're gonna do because everyone wants lunch and is hungry now. So I'm just gonna make these energy balls and then, yeah, that is it done. Okay, so this is everything we have made. We've made blueberry muffins. We've made the sausage and egg bites. We've got French toast, two lots. We've got the yogurt bites. And then I've put the energy ball mix in the fridge. I haven't rolled it yet, but I'll do that later. But we've got lemon and blueberry energy balls as well. So that is a pretty good breakfast and snacks. There's a fly. I need to get it all in the freezer because it's pretty much all cooled down now. But yeah, that is everything we made for sort of make ahead freezer breakfast and snacks. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this. Let me know if you're going to try any recipes and let me know if I should do some more because I do this quite often every week or every couple of days depending how quick we go through the food and the snacks and stuff. So next week I'll do different recipes. So let me know if you want to see that and I'll see you next time. Bye!